I now invite to the podium Carter Todd, representing the Master of Science Leadership Program. Carter. Talk among yourselves. No, don't. <laughs> yeah. All right, Carter. All right. All right. All right. Well, on behalf of the uh, Masters in 2019 and the leadership cohort, uh, welcome everybody. Um, thank you for the privilege to say some words today. Hard to follow the last guy that was in front of me. But everyone in this room, uh, faculty, students, and families of all, we've all been grinding tooth and nail over the course of the last 18 months to about four years to this moment right now. So it's pretty remarkable. Still pinching myself as I walk by PhD students. I'm a first year graduate, or first uh, generation college grad, so it's, it's pretty mind blowing. <clears throat> but here we are. We're all together celebrating the transition from classroom to clinical. Our master's in nurse leadership cohort has spent the last past couple of years harnessing a special skill set. We do not study to a test. There's no boards at the end of our program. What we're really doing is we're studying for a unique opportunity to become scholars of our healthcare mindset. It has truly been an honor to train our minds to form and shape the healthcare of tomorrow. <clears throat> we have done so while working full time, having babies, Nadia has her, like, her two week old in the stands, uh, buying homes, taking on new jobs, and chipping away at the good old thesis. Congratulations to you all. But the question that we all get is, well, what's next? Are you going to be a manager? Are you going to be the next CNO? The lovely part of our degree is that there is no end game. We are already working our dream job. We climb the mountain of academia not to find a better job, but to build our capacity. So how will we make nursing better? Will we be the next advocate for the deaf and hard of hearing patient? Will we implement faith-based initiatives in the local churches and community groups? Are we going to advocate for nurses, not only in the CNA in California, but all over the nation worldwide? And will the emergency department at UC Davis finally have a, a new grad preceptor program? <laughs> the options are limitless, and for our master's in nurse leadership class, let all the options have impact. A quote that resonated with me as I was writing this, either uh, two days ago or this morning, was, um, was a quote by a freed slave and abolitionist, Frederick Douglass. And his words were, it is not a light that we need, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. With the current climate of our healthcare system and the political position of, of that uh, sort, it is imperative that the nurses have a voice. Our nursing capacity has been changed forever. We are the glue that holds this whole system together. Let us now lead nursing into the future and with that, a huge congratulations to everyone on this stage for the 2019 class. <laughs>